What is LMC TV? What else did we hear at that meeting last time? We heard that they had no idea how many units they're going to develop at that point. They may now. I haven't heard of the public meeting, but we hear it. We know that we, they don't know how much it was going to cost them. They don't know any of these things. As a matter of fact, they didn't even know how much they were going to rent the apartments for. So I guess that's convenient for the moment, but we still don't know what you're going to spend to build that thing. We don't know what it's going to cost to run it. You haven't come up with any of these figures, yet your intent on developing that as housing without any knowledge of where you're going. Mr. Donahoe, you're at it again. The same way that you distorted the numbers which were in the mailing piece, which you mailed out to so many people in the community with the numbers that were all wrong, you are now distorting the numbers again. The message is clear. Through our individual and collective efforts, the dream must be revitalized. Now, I thought you were my friend. I guess you are. Well, let me tell you something. We've always learned about Spanish people. They don't never teach us black history in school, do they? No, they don't. When I speak on suicide prevention, I'm still bringing in pursuing purpose, sharing, feel, sharing feelings, building self-esteem, that we all are indeed alive to thrive, to grow. What do we usually do with an apple when there's a bruise on it? Mm. We usually cut it out right. and still eat the apple because right. it's sweet. Well, if you, the person, are a beautiful apple with an ugly bruise on it, which can be something that happened, right? How do you heal that bruise? Through counseling, therapy, faith in God, going after you know, your major purpose or what? Or do we throw away the whole apple with the suicide, with the bruise, which I do call suicide. Right. The FCC is more interested in stopping dirty words than they are in creating structure for change that will increase choice and diversity. And in a democracy, that's what's important. We treat children as uh, really the most um, unvalued audience in broadcasting, and our priorities should be just the other way around. some misunderstandings about the kinds of crimes that we've experienced on Palmer Avenue. We, in fact, did have two armed robberies, uh -huh. but as rumor would have it, it sounds more like five or six mm -hmm. at this point. There's absolutely nothing that can be done about uh, something like that. So in other words, now every time there's a rate increase, they'll not only increase the basic by a dollar, but then all the subsequent services by a dollar? Well, that, that's basically known as tiering. And we objected strenuously to the increases that were, to the tiering that went into effect in, in early 1991. Yeah. Uh, There's our, our protestations uh, went by the wayside. My name is Eileen Deutsch, and for my 42nd birthday, I found out I had breast cancer. What they do now is they do a follow-up type of chemotherapy called adjuvant chemotherapy, and that scared the hell out of me. It um, was petrified. I didn't know what to expect. I was afraid of the side effects, and um, I felt very alone. And so I've um, produced a tape to show you what it is like to get chemotherapy if you're in my situation where you might have a small tumor. The natural history of breast cancer is that there, 85 percent of breast cancers will relapse within two years of surgical treatment. We pride ourselves on being one of the most advanced and compassionate countries in the world. Yet among industrialized countries, only the United States and South Africa don't have a national health plan. The issue is no longer whether to extend care to those who don't have it. It is how can we best provide affordable care, high quality health, and long term insurance for everyone. I know that every single lesbian and gay man have in some way experienced homophobia. I, my heart cries for any kind of bias, um, any, any type of bias directed towards another person. What I would like to say to my father, I would like to say to him, I really wish that we could sit down and speak to each other as human beings rather than 
my gay son. We were expected to present all options to a woman in order not to coerce her choice. Now, the government has redefined family planning. They've called it something, and these are the words that they use, called preconceptional counseling. And they say that if you are pregnant, you have no business being in a family planning center. You need to be in a prenatal care center. <laughs> when I was asked to be a candidate for trustee in 76, just before the 77 election, I didn't even know that we had two local political parties. I assumed, having been here since 46, that this was a Republican fiefdom. I've been with BetMet for uh, 18 years now. None of my classmates who graduated from the seminary at the same time that I did uh, are in the same places where they began because they saw small congregations as stepping stones to bigger and therefore, of course, better positions where my position basically has been when you, as I've said to many people, when you live and work in the same place, you've got to like the people or you're dead. It's that simple. Starting from 1697, we have minutes of town meetings, and they're written down. And they have even been put into a book so that we are very, very special in the state of New York, that we're one of the very first that has town meetings from 1697 with it recorded. We have a very special thing we want to show you. It's only been seen once before. This document is dated White Plains, October the 19th, 1776. 215 years ago to the day. It reads, received from the Continental Store at Mamaroneck from Matthew Marvin, one cask of rum. You know, they talk about the Japanese that were interned in California, but the same thing almost happened to me. Uh, being a Italian, we didn't know if we were going to send us to Europe or not, so they brought us all in again and wanted us to take another oath again. And I blew my stack. I said, I'm not going to do it. If you didn't believe me the first time, what makes you think I'm believing now? <laughs> I don't know anybody over there. How long was that first attack? Uh, about... It, it, Varied 15, 20 minutes or so. That's all? Well, how long did it seem to you? <laughs> seemed like uh, eternity. Hear ye, hear ye, the Larchmont Historical Society proudly presents the Mamaroneck High School Pace Players under the direction of Mr. John Fredrickson, presenting three historical vignettes. Children cannot so sleep. They're up. This man, after all, your La Hacienda parties don't go over so well with the flora conservative elements of Larchmont? I think decisions in the future uh, are going to be tax decided. I think taxes are, are, are rising at such a rate and have gotten to such a level, people are going to have to start facing some very hard decisions. Since later with WFAS Radio at the Election Board, what can you tell us? Well, the biggest news of the day, uh, again, is still the County Board of Legislators. The Dems have it. It looks unofficially at this point that they might have a 9-8 lead in the County Board of Legislators. And when I saw LMC TV, I said, they don't need any television. They have everything they need. They're professionals. They're even better than us. We are called the LMC TV of the UN, you see. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then I realized that, no, he still needs me for one thing. Lashwa Mamaronek, if you think of it, it's a mini UN. It began in 1967 by Fran Miles, who was a person that worked for Peters. And it was successful. And ever since then, we've been having it. Checkers with apples? I've never seen that before. Who, you're green and he's red? Who's, who's winning? Nobody yet. What's your name? Paul B. What's your name? David. David? Oh, now it's your Do you live in Larchmont? 
No, I live in my house. The lead team is a team of Shire horses. They're from England, and they weigh 2,100 pounds apiece. <laughs> And we're sitting here with all these people milling around. There are, There is nothing that you can't buy here. It's just a, a very nice time to come on down to the Yimlin and see what this area is all about. This is quite a tradition that uh, Mamernak has. And it's, I'm, I've been in the village now about 15 years, and we've been coming every year since. And it just seems to be getting bigger and better every year. Tossing seas. 